and I have lived. This is Bob on Ott. How are you guys doing? I don't know. I've been sober for six months. I had to go to rehab. Fucking Sister Beverly turned me into CPS. You know, I was smoking the crack with my daughter, Danielle Steele. It's good while it lasted, but, you know, um, I was drinking a lot, too, and I didn't want to have another fetal alcohol baby anyway, so so here we are. Um, back to talking about art. Today we're going to talk about a uh, sculpture by this artist, Dwayne Hansen, and uh, they don't look like uh, art, really. They look like people. Um, we've done sculptures before. Uh, we talked about Venus of Will and Dorf, which, uh, you know, it's like this beautiful round lady. Um, it was the first sculpture ever made, and, uh, you know, it's made out of stone or something. And then we talked about David by Michelangelo, and that's, you know, that's like this Greek god, and it's like wicked art, you know, it's, it like is art. And uh, then you get these motherfuckers, just, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's called hyperrealism, this style, and like fucking, to me, it just looks like someone uh, frozen, shellacked my parents, for Christ's sakes, I mean... Looks just like my fucking, well, actually, that looks more like, uh, I come to think of it, it doesn't remind me of my parents. It's, uh, who is it? Is it like the, the people who lived across the street? Uh, maybe it was, it's one of my father's friend. no, one of my baby daddy's parents, uh, Hanson. No, wait, that was the band. It was, um... No, you know who it was? It was Dwayne. It yeah. was Dwayne's father. Dwayne's father. I slept with... Well, I didn't sleep Shut with up, Bev. I had, uh, Shut. I had sex with him at Trisha's wedding. Who didn't you have sex with, you fucking whore? That's my uh, sister, Bev. Fucking hangs around the house like a bad I herpy. I am watching my story. Shut the fuck up, Bob. Jesus Get a fuck. job! I, Jesus Christ. I, so, yeah, we were in Florida that one time, and, uh... No, wait, that was, uh, was that in the compartment of the Amtrak? We were in there so many times, I can't remember. But I walked in, and, uh, she was humping him. They were humping like a couple of rabbits. And when I say hump, I mean hump. It was like, uh, it was primal and horrible. Like, they were leaving little pellets behind him. I don't even know what those were. I don't know why I followed it, but, you know, it's always, uh, more interesting to, to say yes than it is to say no. So I saw him going at it, and I, I just couldn't interrupt it. But when they were done, oh, I stuck it to Bev. I stuck it to Bev like a, uh, like I skewered her like a fucking bad shish kebab. Ah, uh, she's a fucking whore, I tell you what. So, yeah, I, uh, I got rid of Dwayne. He just, uh, he, he gave me, uh, gave me Freddie Mercury. He gave me my retarded son. Thanks, Dwayne, you fucking asshole. You watching this? I hope you're watching this. Look at me now. Look at what I'm doing. What are you doing? Working at the Circle K? Feeding hairy hot dogs to fucking drunk assholes at 1 a.m.? Good job. But so I was reading a blurb about this guy and about this piece, and it says it's uh, representative of, like, the boredom and the banality of post-war... I don't know, American society or something. And, um, like, again, I don't need to look at my parents to, like, be bored and find everything banal. I looked that word up. Um, I can't remember what it means, but I know it means something I'm doing right now. So, you know, let's wrap this up. Next week, we're going to talk about some piece of art that doesn't remind me of a pair of parental assholes. Thank you. This is Bob on Art. Shut the See you next up. week. I'm busy here, can't you see? I'm doing a television show. Get out, get out of here. You add 10 pounds to me. 10 pounds of dead weight. Get out of my house. Okay.